I don't know if this is going to work right, but we'll see. All right. So what you do is take a piece of string about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long, snip it, tie on your weight with any kind of secure knot. Then you take an index card or a piece of cardboard if you have it at home and a hole punch or a pencil if you don't have one and you poke a hole pretty much in the center of the card to tie it on. You don't really need a hole. You can tape the string on if you want. But I used to be a Boy Scout way back when, so I'm into knots. So I just figure, tie it on. I know. We actually we talk talk about geekiness. At one point, we we're like, "Do you know what's a really cool knot? Have you ever tried a sheep shank? How about a Carrick bend?" Mister uh, Mister McDonald always teaches us how to tie a Carrick. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The Carrick Band. Then, what you do, excuse me, you print out or take your um, little protractor, and there's kind of a bullseye. You make sure that goes right over the hole where the string is attached. That way, you know that the angle that the string is moving is the angle that it shows on here. The last thing you need to do is it hangs down at 90. But that's not really what you want. You want to relabel it as zero because that's the natural and neutral position. So you would label zero degrees and then for every 10 degrees in one direction, you would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 90 over here and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, et cetera, up to 90 over here. And label one direction as the positive acceleration and one as the negative acceleration. That way you can distinguish if you're moving, if it moves 10 degrees in the positive direction or 10 degrees in the negative direction, or ever, however many degrees. How are you supposed to distinguish what the... Which one's negative? No, no how are you supposed to distinguish um, what angle you're moving at if you're moving. You can't really like look at it and see where it's at while you're moving. You can put you can hold the string at where it is. You could do that. Yeah. You could also you're gonna some of it is gonna be kind of a guesstimate of where you go. Like if you go this way, you look you can tell the maximum number it goes up to if you're facing it. Like right there I knew it went up to forty so and then comes back. Round numbers, like 40 or yeah. Round numbers of at tens of degrees are fine. Any questions? Yes. Well, if you're going to call this forward, then you know that this is going to move backwards as you move in your forward direction. So that should be the positive. Because if you're moving forward, it should be moving to positive. If you're moving backwards, it's going to be negative. So this side should be negative. If it's facing you, the side you're not. It's kind of arbitrary. If you can just put a plus on one and a minus on the other. Okay. As long as you keep it consistent, it's fine. All right? So that's where we're going to stop for that. And